All right, so let's get on with our first trail. So to start, you can head on to trailhead.salesforce.com and here search on admin beginner and hit enter there. You got the admin beginner trail. Click on there and we're gonna do this together. So the course of this whole um, trail is about 8 hours and 30 minutes so we're gonna take our time and let's absorb and learn together and let's get started get started with the Salesforce platform alright so um, we are going to go through the get started with the Salesforce platform first off um, I want to guide you uh, with my own analogy so you can understand um, how or what is the Salesforce platform so Salesforce platform is basically a system or a platform to gather information um, and process information and provide information to anyone so Whoever is using it can decide how the information is collected, um, when the information is collected, and how is the information further processed to give answers to, to whoever needs the information. <laughs> Hopefully that doesn't... Uh, confuse you too much but let's just go on ahead so on this trail go right all the way to the bottom and you will have this particular challenge ready for the challenge so we're going to go ahead and actually play around a bit before we actually do the actual challenge so I want to give you an illustration on how um, the Salesforce platform uh, works so you will have this as well my trailhead playground one hit the launch bu button it should open up a new tab for you there sure all right um, I'm gonna close this out so we are going to create something from scratch. Sometimes creating something from scratch helps us to understand better or even more than trying to um, figure out what other people already, you know, pre-configured or already built. So let's let's do this analogy. Um, I would I would say that everybody who is listening or learning here right now have been to school right we've been to school so we would know um, what is a student what is a teacher what happens in a school let's let's do that analogy instead of doing it through a business perspective um, let's do that so we are on the Salesforce platform so don't get confused there is so many stuff you can uh, uh, click on um, just follow me we are going to create something from scratch okay let's do that I'm gonna click this icon this gear icon and hit setup set up here so I'm going to create what what is called an object in Salesforce right so what is an object definition um, based on Salesforce definition so let me scroll up a bit you can also scroll up with me on your own screen here um, we have we have a definition what is it again here objects are tables in the Salesforce database that store a particular kind of information so this is I want to highlight this object stores a particular kind of information 
and it's it's continuing to say there are standard objects blah 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 and custom objects blah 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 so standard objects is basically what salesforce is pre-built already uh, for for processes that relates to a business so so to avoid confusion we'll just create stuff from scratch okay we won't be explaining that uh, right now but we will get back to that for sure okay so that's that's an object so basically uh, an object is a bucket some kind of a bucket you know a bucket a container a bucket to store what a particular kind of information so for our example we are going to create a student object student object is to con uh, to contain or to store information about students you know uh, what grade they are what's what's their name where do they live and how are they performing at school their what their grades in each of the classes they take stuff like that so we've been uh, we've been um to school all of us so we can relate better so let's create a new object called students i'm gonna create one from here object manager where you can create new objects so just follow along don't mind this uh, bunch of objects already there but you can see there is account object activity case contact it's a bit abstract if you don't if you are not familiar with salesforce but basically here i can create students teachers or even um pets you know pets is an object it can be a cat or a dog um what else houses are an object cars um cakes shirts shoes are object right you can create any kind of object that um relates to your work environment so whatever you are wanting to do so for this example we are going to create a student object okay so we're going to create a new custom object it's called custom because we are creating it on our own so i'm gonna go and create a student object students and object name student and don't mind and don't get confused with all this overwhelming so many fields to configure you will get used to it so as you go along and uh, what of advice is you need to be exercising you know what you have learned um, often because if you don't use it you will lose it you will lose the information you gather or you're learning if you don't practice it so I would recommend actually to practice what you have learned on your own it would be better if you have already have a job and you know your job requires you to learn or have more knowledge about Salesforce and that is why you are learning that is great so you can actually apply what you've learned on your own Salesforce organization but if not you um, just go along and uh, as we go through these trails you will have so many practice and you just going to be familiar with everything okay um what is a student we can just put some description here a student is a person who who is enrolled in a school okay and i'm going to click all of this stuff for now and i'm gonna make a deploy it, allow search so we can search for students and i'm gonna create a new tab so i can uh, further demonstrate and show you what is a record right so i'm gonna hit save we are creating a new uh, student object so i'm gonna choose the tab style here a tab style let's choose something with a person on it this guy probably is fine and I'm gonna hit next uh, we'll go through all that later it, every every screen you see here it will have its own trail or course 
and you will you will be explained thoroughly. So don't mind what is that? What is Jimmy kept skipping stuff? I don't even know what that is, right? What what on earth? He just skipped the whole bunch of stuff. So don't worry about it. You will be exposed and explained on each screen um, all the way through the trail. So don't worry about it. Right now I'm focusing on what is an object, what is a record, and what is a field. Okay. I'm going to just include everything there. Save. So we just created a new object called a student. You know, student, teacher, school. You get it, right? Student. So a student is an object. So now I'm going to create a new field. Fields is what information do you want to have on your on your system? It has student name, right? So let's create. Uh, this is all the standard fields that Salesforce create whenever you create a new object. Okay. So let's create a new field. What do you want to know, or what do you want to know about a student? Let's see. Let's let's say when 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 is their date of birth, right? So I'm gonna hit a date. Uh, what is the date of birth of a student? So the date would be a uh, a type, a data type, a data type of the information you are collecting. We are going to collect birth dates, and therefore we are choosing date. So next. Um, birth date okay just gonna skip everything for now we'll explain those stuff later this is just for the sake of giving you a brief um, information on how those those stuff works and one more information what do you want to know uh, we have the birth date the name and maybe the address uh, oh the address um, let's let's do another one let me think um, or maybe the grade okay the grade what grade they are on so let's do um, let's do elementary kind of grade so 1 to 12 okay it's a number so what grade is a number you can choose a number between 1 to 12 or even a pick list so a pick list is better because you can define excuse me define what grade they are on so the user can define it without guessing okay let me show you what I mean so I'm gonna choose the value so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 grade 10 grade 11 grade 12 okay um, grades I'm gonna skip all that and then next visible Everybody can see it. Don't worry about all these screens. We will always get back to that and save. So we have defined, uh, we have created one um, new object called students. What is this object for? This is for collecting information or storing or saving student information. So it's an object, the container or the bucket where you put all the re records in. Okay, this is an object. These are fields. We just create fields, birth date, um, the name and the grade. Okay, so now we are going to actually create a record. Okay, a record is the actual information. Okay, so let's do that. I'm going to go click on here. So you can follow me along, create the student object and stuff so you get the look and feel and the, the, the feeling of creating stuff on Salesforce. Don't be afraid to break stuff. <clears throat> I would highly recommend just go and just do stuff, you know. Don't, don't just watch me and just um, assume you're going to get all of it. I would, uh, you need to practice it with your own hands, okay. So now let's go to student. I'm going to type student to pick up my student object here as you can see. Now we can actually create a new student, okay, a new student record. So for example, I am a student. My name is Jimmy Tanzil. Well, my birth date, I'm just going to make a made up birth date, right? Or I can, oh yeah, I'm going to make a made up birth date because that's dangerous if I share you my new, my actual birth date. Well, not 61. I can give you the real year. I was born in 1979. I'm so I'm 40 years old right now. 
great um i'm great that's grade 12 okay i'm graduating okay so i'm gonna hit save so this is a record so this is a record right um jimmy tanzil it's a record and we can create more records so a student record jimmy tanzil okay so now we can create more records in here and create new and John Doe, or let's make a children's name like what? Um, mm, 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 yeah, whatever. John Doe, birth date is 2000, recently born, um, 11, right? So what? Grade 3 or 4? Grade 3 and save. So that, that's it. So we have, uh, if I click back here, we have two records, John Doe and Jimmy Tanzil. So this is records, the actual information or the actual student. So this is, these are records and the students are what? Object, okay? This, the student object, okay? So now if I go back to the setup part, to recap, I'm going to go back to the setup part here. And here we can see um, object manager. And I'm going to hit student here. Here um, you can see the fields again. These are the fields. Okay. So if I go back to the trailhead, we have just covered um, an object, which is the student. The record, which is John Doe, Jimmy, Abigail, whoever, right? Um, Annabelle, whoever the students are. And the fields. Fields are the birth date, um, the grade of the student. So you can add more fields to it, okay? So that's basically what is uh, all these three. So what is an app? An app is, uh, uh, let me show you how it looks like this is what you can click and all this is called apps okay so you can create um, how everything interact how the information is interacting and how to gather information how to process information how to provide answers to information and make it an app we will get back to that for sure so for now so we have covered uh, what is an object, what are records, what are fields. And we have launched the trailhead uh, playground. And next we are going to customize uh, the Sales, Salesforce platform and to actually um, do the challenge here. So we can do the challenge together. All right. So before we go the, and do the challenge, I want to show you what else is covered in this particular um, module. So stories of Salesforce, this is what you will and I will go through when we go through the trailheads. Salesforce trailheads have um, examples of uh, made up businesses and and this is what businesses we are the, we are going to go or and 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 come across cloud kicks uh, which is a sneaker or a shoe company um, ursa major solar a cutting edge renewable energy um, and get cloudy consulting a consulting firm and dreamhouse realty a realty company which is selling real estate or houses right so these are examples to help you understand how the salesforce system works and how can it it help you and your organization accomplish what you want to accomplish so that's the examples of the salesforce um, trailhead um, cases as we go through um, uh, we will come across all these fictive uh, businesses it's a made-up company right and this is the people we will come across and this is what we have um, uh, covered the app um, and then we're gonna go to the playground and customize some stuff here and do the challenge um, together all right <music>